Hey guys, welcome to Little Big Podcast. This is episode 130. All right, thanks for joining us this week, guys. We have plenty of art to kick it off with once again, so let's get started. First up is Luke Hag 09's Sackboy Couch, then Devin Spell's Have a Hot Summer, then Roberto's Alien Sackboy. Then we have Cobalter 252's LBP2 logo and Sackboy. Then we have Goofy Gryffindor's Jungle Photoshop. Then we have Zerker Dragon's Invisible Invisible Sackboy. Then we have Michael's Infamous 2 sketch and Dodgy Viper 2 and Davy Linhout's painting, which was in-game. Absolutely incredible. Great job on that. Then we have Victor's Negativist... Ne- ugh, I can never say that. Negativitron sketch. And then we have the LBP Bloggers SIG contest. Right, and the winner for this week was Radio PlayStation, and Tyler Stewart designed that, and he's actually from the next... Anyway, um, yeah, so it's shout out to RadioPlayStation.com. Go there, and you can listen to Radio PlayStation. Sounds cool. All right, and then finally, well, almost finally, we have LBP2 Blogs Planking Contest. Now, you might have seen last week that they want you to take a sack boy and do the popular plank and obviously you can do that on just about anything so you can take a picture of a sack boy planking oh my goodness it failed again let's try that again sack boy planking take a picture of it and send it to lbp2blog.com and you can get your art or picture or whatever you want to call it on their website all right very cool and then we have one final shout out to threadless.com a lot of you guys have been asking where we get our t-shirts from we've said it for the past three weeks but somehow a lot of you have still (laughs) missed it so in case you're wondering where we get t-shirts like this and the ones that we've had in previous weeks threadless.com they're great have lots of cool stuff okay so moving on to levels we have first up bridge building puzzles by not even going to try to pronounce that you can see it on your screen all right, now this was a really cool level. Austin was struggling with it, which I was, I don't know, I was just laughing because well, it looked so much easier. I was struggling with it the entire time. But well, yeah, but... The, the whole concept of the level is you're sitting there, you have a gap, and then you are up above and you have a clone of you down on the ground who needs to get across the gap. Now, what do you do? You have this uh, thing, and it's holograph, like, placement things for your blocks. And then it has a block count across the top, and then sometimes you'll have multiple blocks. So you can press triangle to switch between the type of blocks that you're using, and then you use the directional keys and the directional pad and just different things to move your your silhouette over where you want the block. Press X, it appears. They all float there until you press square, which pretty much initiates play mode. So it's a really cool challenge and uh, definitely had a lot of fun playing that. And it's one of those levels, again, that people are trying to do where they take, like, create mode things that you'd normally do in create and then they put them into a play mode kind of thing so. you know and i can see this really enhanced by playstation move like being able oh, yeah, to kind of sure. move it for yeah sure. that would be really cool so uh definitely anticipate a sequel with playstation move next up we have adventures of a space monkey by the notorious 187 all right now this was a really cool level i didn't really know what it was at first i saw like this space looking Alien yeah, thing. Was it was just a monkey passing by as I was playing this, and I was uh, like, "Is that a monkey?" And he's like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> but like, it was really cool. The space, it looked really awesome. Those were like, the best space depth. graphics oh, that yeah. I've seen in the entire game. And uh, obviously, there were stickers, pictures, something. They looked incredible, and uh, kind of chronologues how this monkey lands on what looks like is Mars. Jupiter. If I had to guess, it looks like oh, it looks like Jupiter. Jupiter is a gas planet. You can't land on Jupiter. It's a video game. Anything can happen. Okay, well, I'm it going with Mars. I think it looks like Jupiter. Anyway, and you see a savage tribe of gorillas coming up around skeletons of probably previous astronauts. So, um, yeah, it looks like a great level. This was just a cinematic intro. The full actual, like, playing of the level part will be out in a few weeks or a few days. Who knows? <laughs> so just check back on that. Then, finally, we have the Skyborn Temple by Bonner123. Now, this was a really cool level. At first, I thought Austin said Skytown, and I'm like, it doesn't really look the same as the last Skytown no. levels, but it was really cool. It was, you know, in the air, so if you fell, you would burn up and it, die it and stuff, but it was really cool. just, like, first Skytown, and then, I don't know why this just popped into my head, but then there's there's always on uh, on Ratchet and & Clank, and then on um, Sly, they Sly both have Cooper, those giant yeah. floating fortresses. And you end up dying if you fall over the edge. So there's or always some, intentionally jump over the edge. Right. There's always some kind of peril and falling, and you never you never get to see yourself at the ground. You always just kind of like disappear in the clouds. Well, or, I think that'd be kind of dark. It would be kind of dark. But anyway, really great level. Lots of cool platforming challenges. 
and it really reminded me of like a full-on game because you're going through and there's this one point where you have to pull all six levers and it just kind of reminded me of you know just your typical almost like if I can say this, Sly Cooper had the keys. It's right, like, exactly. oh, you gotta go get all get six all the keys, keys and right. come back and unlock six locks on one door, which I don't get why they didn't just put one giant one lock. One giant but lock, exactly. But anyway, that, that's a video game for you. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, absolutely great level. Definitely go give that a play. And I uh, hope you enjoyed our level lineup this week. We have lots more where that comes from next week. So uh, be yes. sure to tune in then. And uh, we have some news for you guys. The Motorstorm Apocalypse DLC pack is still on the charts to be coming out pretty soon here. We don't have a date yet, but that is a very awesome pack. It comes with a couple costumes and lots of stickers. All right, and then the Infamous 2 costumes are out. They are super cool looking. There's all there's two whole separate costumes, except for the hair is shared between both of right. them. So you get two costumes, basically, and stickers. Right. So that's really awesome pack. Yep. And then we have the Final Fantasy VII costume kit, which comes with five costumes in the kit. Or you can buy four of them separately for $1.99 a piece. And it uh, looks great. Head on over to the PlayStation Store or the Little Big Store, which has been newly updated, to uh, go ahead and buy that pack. It looks excellent. And uh, a lot of you guys have been waiting a very long time for the Sephiroth costume, and that's finally here. So go grab it. Right. And next we have the Killzone 3 costumes. They are out as well. And honestly, they are some of the coolest costumes in the entire game. The helmet. Easily. Yeah, it's Easily. so cool looking on that one. Uh, oh, what's it called? The Hazmat Trooper. It looks so cool. All right, and then our Toy Story 3 DLC is still coming. This is looking like it'll be probably next month, sometime later next month. And uh, that's going to come with loads of levels, loads of stickers, and loads of costumes. Yeah. So uh, be on the lookout for that Lots gigantic of pack. <laughs> It's going to be a multi-release, oh, yeah. probably an entire month of releases. For sure. So it's going to be nice. All right, and then we have our move kit, which is going to be coming out. There was actually, I'm going to break into a further on news story. There was a game spot interview with Media Molecule and it talked about basically all of the the stuff that's upcoming and you know their recent decision to start slowly handing off little big planets so they could work on a new project. Well, um, basically what's going on with the move kit is apparently it's it was quoted from I want to say it was Kareem from Media Molecule. It's quoted to be so huge that all they had to do was add a few more things and it could have been its own Blu-ray. So this is a really huge pack. And, uh, yeah, sounds start clearing epic. up some space on the hard drives because yeah. you'll probably need it. So, so sounds really epic. Uh, if you want to read more about that, just go to GameSpot.com and uh, look up their Media Molecule story. And uh, a lot of neat information in there. Also, an interesting little side note. They kind of clarified the stepping away thing to more of focusing their efforts on something else while other studios focus their efforts on Little Big Planet right, more. Right. So they're not really like handing it off, they're just more focusing on more projects. Now. Right. Okay, and then our Mind the Gap Crown Contest. We are still awaiting results, but we are that close to knowing our winner. It could even be by early next week, so if if we get it before next episode, we will make a special video to announce we our winner. We will make you guys wait exactly. the entire week. So as soon again. as we find out, we will immediately begin planning our video to announce the winner. Uh, I don't know how they're going to judge these. I honestly don't. Yeah, I don't so. either. It, they were so good. All of them were amazing. I'm glad I don't have to judge them. Exactly. So. Yeah. All right, and then we have our St. Louis meetup, which is coming up next week. I can't believe it's already that close. Uh, at this point, it's looking like we're not going to be able to go in person, but it Sad does look face. like we might be able to be there digitally at some point. With the so, webcam uh, we'll or see. something. We'll see. Or who knows? We may surprise you guys and actually be there, but uh, it's not looking too good for that right mm -hmm. now. So anyway, we'll keep you up to date on that. Be sure to follow us on uh, Twitter, at LB Podcast, for all the latest also, there is an official Twitter account for the community meetup. You can go to bit.ly slash LBP meetup to look at all the details for that. And then the Twitter, I want to say, is LBPC meetup 2011. Something like that. So if it's not that, it'll show up at the bottom of the screen with a correction saying Austin right. is so not just, right. So just check and down in the description. Um, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of links in there starting now to all this stuff so you don't have to like go in and type it yourself because we know how much time that takes to, uh, to do that. So, um, yeah, and then finally we have... Two more things left, so I guess that's not finally quite yet. But uh, reactstudios.com, some of you may know this, some of you may not know this, but we do have a secondary YouTube channel that we post all of our non-LBP stuff on. Right. And we just released two brand new videos there. One is a montage of a trip we took to an amusement park. And then the other one is a music video that we did for our friend Michael Fisher. So if you're interested, click here, this annotation, or you can check down in your description if you're not on YouTube for that. 
And uh, we'd really appreciate you checking it out, subscribing, and uh, being there for the rest of our work that's not as much gaming related even. Right, so. and we put lots of hours into these projects, so getting a little bit more of attention would be super cool. Right, so. we, we put 30 hours into one of these videos. Yeah, we did. So, All right, and finally, we played with Sakinema yesterday for like two hours. It was a lot of fun. We played through some Little Big Planet 2 levels. It was basically a jam, sh jam session. And we trashed each other the whole time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was funny. We were going to use it as our entire episode, but then we kind of realized that this was definitely going to be some awesome bonus content. So we're going to screen a few minutes of it here at the end of this episode. And then if that entices you enough, you can click on the link to go watch most of it. Once and, I get it um, done. <laughs> we did a lot of stuff. We got to play around, mess around, and we nationalized each other and uh, found out that an elevator is not an elevator. It's a lift. And um, a sidewalk is not a sidewalk, it's a pavement. Right, so we found out a lot of different things about why Britons are better, apparently. And anyway, so if you want to watch more about that, then here's some of it. And then if you like that, then there's more of it. So Coming anyway, soon. I'm Austin. I'm Daniel. Be sure to tune in next Friday to littlebigpodcast.com or wherever you watch us because we'll have a brand new episode out. Hopefully our MTG entries will, or our winners Sweet will be announced. Dwayne. I'm constantly going. So anyway, I'm Austin. I'm Daniel. We said that already. Goodbye. Cheerio.